Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Logic Connect. A quick review of external auditory canal. This external auditory canal is a part of the external ear. These are the headings under which I am going to cover this topic. This external auditory canal is a passageway for the sound to travel from the outside of the head to the inside towards the tympanic membrane. Meatus means an opening. So, as you can see, it's an opening in the head which leads to the interior towards the tympanic membrane. The extent of the external auditory canal is from a depression in the pinna called a sconca towards the eardrum or the tympanic membrane. There are two parts of the external ear and the external auditory canal. One which is closer to the external ear is made up of elastic cartilage. So, this is, a, this is also cartilaginous. The outer part, outer one third part is also cartilaginous. And this part is closer to the bone, so that will be bony. So the inner two-third of the external auditory canal is bony. It is related to temporal bone, vitreous part of temporal bone. The shape of external auditory canal is not straight as we expected. Them. It will be curved, like an S-shaped curve it is there. And initially the direction will be from outside to inside. Initially the direction is backwards and upwards. Subsequently it is downwards and forwards. So, if you want to make this canal straight, if you want to make this S-shaped canal straight, we have to pull it like this. We have to pull the pinna like this, upwards and backwards. The blood supply of the external auditory canal is by an artery here in the front, auriculotemporal artery, and one artery behind the pinna called as posterior auricular artery. The nerve supply with similar name, auriculotemporal nerve, and one big nerve will be there, it's called greater auricular nerve, and one tiny nerve will be there on the occipital bone, it's called lesser occipital nerve. Lymphatic drainage in front of the auricle, there will be lymph nodes. So, if there is infection in the anterior wall of the external auditory canal, it will go to these lymph nodes. It's called pre-auricular lymph nodes. Behind, the posterior part of the external auditory canal drains into behind. That is post-auricular group of lymph nodes. So, the function of the external auditory canal is like a funnel. So, it collects the sound waves and transmits the same towards the tympanic membrane or the eardrum. Now, to the applied anatomy. Foreign body is most common in external auditory canal. It's more commonly seen in pediatric age group. Uh, any things from gravel, wax, uh, small stone, pebbles, anything can be put. Even cotton bud can be put. So, naturally the cotton, I mean, uh, naturally it will be drained, the wax, everything. But sometimes it gets impacted due to inadequate water intake. Infection of the hair follicle in the external auditory canal is very painful. It's called as furuncle. Inflammation of the entire external ear, that is the pinna and the external auditory canal, is called as otitis externa. There can be complete blockage of the external auditory canal. It's a congenital anomaly. It's called as atresia of external auditory canal. Kindly like the video, comment about this video, and share this video. Thank you for watching.